It's Jay Kim from the Oregon Surf Perch Fishing Club. It's November 28th, Tuesday. It's about 4.20 p.m. Uh, this is a last minute decision to come fishing. I was actually just waiting for the NBA games to start, but uh, when I saw how pleasant it was, I figured, okay, I'll go try a few casts. So it's outgoing, low tide. So high tide was around noon, I think, and it was around eight, eight and a half feet. And low tide is in about an hour and a half to two hours, and it's minus 1.5. So it's about a nine and a half foot swing today. Uh, this I'm at 35th Street in Lincoln City, and man, this is the lowest I've ever been here. Man, I can get way down there. So just wanted to take a few casts. You can see the sun's almost setting. So I was trying to beat sunset, so I think I just made it. But anyway, I uh, just came to give it a few casts. Man, what a lovely day. And energy is about 470 today, so it's actually pretty pleasant. I'm uh, just looking for waves now. I'm going to head up this way. I forgot to mention, it's like 47 degrees, or that's what the temperature gauge says, but man, it's a lot colder than that, and there's actually a bite to the air. So I'm guessing it's in the low 40s actual temperature. I can feel rocks on the bottom. First cast for a prettier picture than this. It's, uh, it's awesome. It's really awesome. Bite. It's like my third cast. That's a good sign. But missed the hookup. Another good thing about coming to a beach at really low tide is you can see the structure. So that's where we usually fish up there. And last time I was actually pinned up against the wall. So we'd be casting into this area and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a shallow trough here and I'm standing on a sandbar and then the ocean floor slopes down. So this would be unreachable on typical days because we're way up there. Um, but this trough is definitely hittable on certain days. So again, it just helps you understand the beach. And again, the beaches change a lot. So just because I see it now doesn't mean it's going to stand up that way especially with all the king tide movement coming in but it just helps you understand what the beach looks like where you're casting into but this is a pretty pretty decent sized trough right here so if you come to the coast soon i would highly suggest you're bringing some good uh, wind protection because when that wind comes up man it just goes right through you and it's pretty biting cold so it just started coming up luckily it's to my back so it's not that bad right now and uh sun looks like it's going to hit the uh, horizon pretty soon so I'm gonna be done here pretty quick I wish the clouds were away so I could see the Sun at its fullest but man it's so beautiful out here it is awesome I've been hitting a lot of rocks in every cast and I just moved about 20 feet and I'm getting a constant snag I just lost my leader and I think that's a sign for me to hang it up so been here I'm guessing in about 20 minutes if even that I uh, got in about five casts got a bite on one and uh, like I said I just wanted to come out and get my feet wet because it's going to be pretty gnarly here this coming week there's uh swell energy has been all over the place but it's going up to 20,000 over the weekend I believe is what I remember seeing okay that's it for today uh, I don't know if I'm going to make it out tomorrow but tomorrow's the last kind of calm day uh, before the big swell energy hit so I'm hoping to make it out tomorrow do a little bit more planning than I did today. Man, what an awesome way to end the night and uh, not get to go watch uh, NBA. <laughs>